Good evening, everybody. I stand yet again on all protocols observed. You must excuse me because it's tough coming after my niece, Tochi. I feel like my heart is going to jump out of my heart right now because it's so hard for me to, it's so hard for me to actually articulate the pain that I'm going through. It's hard. I've sat down so strong, not thinking I'd break down. I gave myself all the pep talks that could possibly be. I've cried so much, I've always thought the only thing that could come out could be blood, but there's still tears to cry. Haba was great. He's greater even in death. It's beyond what we know, even in death. I'm left with three of my other siblings. Emeka, Peggy, and Joyce. And all I can say is that we're going to push things through. We're going to make these things work. Everything Herbert wanted, we will do our best as long as God lives. And God will live. I think back at Herbert and everything that has happened and his life. He had a beautiful life up until the ninth. At least what seemed really beautiful. He went to the best schools, spoke about the best schools. He walked the talk, he talked the talk. When Herbert came, I mean, for those people who know my father, you'd know that physique-wise, Herbert is, Herbert is small compared to daddy. Yes, in his smallness, he was not limited. I wasn't surprised when I saw things saying Herbert was fearless. Herbert was meek, yet he was strong. Herbert was calm. Yet he could be, he was a warrior. You don't want to cross Herbert's path. Yesterday, somebody spoke about how Habert, you would always see Habert, and Habert would always frown his face, or squeeze his face. And I think as his baby sister, I, some, I sometimes used to wonder, you're squeezing your face, I think I need to get an iron and see if I could straighten out the face. But I never thought about saying it to him where he could hear. You know what I wish right now? I wish this really was something that really didn't happen. I really longed to hold my brother. I have a timestamp on my phone. I actually called when they were just leaving London. It was 6.07 Canadian time, Eastern time. And Chizaba's last words to me were, see you on the other side in, in 11 hours. 11 hours never came. Till now, I rise up every morning, and while I draw the curtains, while I open the curtains, I say, God, is Haba going to see the sun rise again? It doesn't look like my brother's going to rise again. It doesn't look like my brother's going to rise again. I think back yet again, and I think about the purpose for which he traveled in the first instance. 
And I think growing up, I never thought Herbert was actively following soccer by any measure. Herbert would barely watch any soccer match, only of course maybe if Nigeria was playing. And so I wondered what exactly he went to do at the Super Bowl. But I realized very quickly that it was his own way of actually having to distress and get away from all the hustle and bustle that Nigeria afforded him. And so for him, he was actually just a breather. I look back at the pictures he took with Tochi, Igbo J, up for last year. And there's one where he had the peace sign. And I said to myself, I'm gonna put that up. And I just wanna remember Herbert with the peace sign. Herbert's death has taught me a few things. And just permit me if I could just go through a few of them. One of the things that Herbert's death has taught me about is love. We need to make time to love. And we need to make time to love our dear ones. And I realized as well that love is not something you write. Love is a doing word. There's no time for us to have schisms with each other. There's no time because you know what? Tomorrow is not guaranteed. For any one of us, tomorrow is not guaranteed. It's not guaranteed. I don't know if I can make 12, 12 a.m. My brother didn't make, he didn't make 12 a.m. on the 10th. Can I please ask that we go out and we love ourselves? Can I ask that we give excuses for ourselves? Can I ask that when God calls us back home, we would say we loved? Tochi, David, Hannah, Okachi, when he grows up. I could only promise, and I promise you I'll do as I say. I mean, everyone has promised everything and I'm sure everyone is going to keep their word. But I mean, you know the relationship I had with your parents. I'd love you like Chizaba loved you. I'd love you like my brother loved you. My phone would never be off. I would do my very best, no matter what the time difference is with where I am and where you guys are. It wouldn't be it be an issue. For my parents, my parents, like you all know, like I said the other day, my parents are struggling. But one thing my father does that I've learned and I will take going forward, aside the lesson of love, is to hold on tight to God. When I walk past and people ask me, they say, Stella, how are you coping? How are you hanging on? I love the question, how am I hanging on? I tell them by the thread by the thread of God's garment. And it's the only way I can hang on. So can I employ every one of us here to go out, clear our minds, just love, and hold on by the thread of God's garment. Thank you very much. Last uh, tribute from the family.